Hola amigos, aquí les traemos otro video. Ustedes siguen pidiendo estos videos en los cuales no hay un orden específico. Es bien importante practicar porque hay que estar preparado para cualquier tipo de escenario. Pero como siempre, tratamos de colocar los subtítulos para que ustedes lo tengan como apoyo. Recuerden amigos, solo utilicenlo como apoyo y no estén leyendo los eh, subtítulos durante la práctica. Lo que intentamos aquí es que ustedes reconozcan las preguntas por oído y también que respondan en voz alta. Este tipo de entrevistas nosotros hacemos lo más que podemos para que se sientan lo más realista, para que tú puedas practicar. Te invitamos a que siempre practiques como si estuvieras en tu entrevista y que lo tomes con seriedad. De esta manera, este video va a tener el efecto que nosotros esperamos. Ahora, si te gustaría tener una estructura de trabajo o un plan de estudio, nosotros ofrecemos un curso en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com. Este es un curso 100% digital que cuenta con material de apoyo que consiste en transcripciones y audios que puedes descargar. Son más de 50 videos que están organizados en módulos para que te sea más fácil aprender todo sobre la entrevista de ciudadanía, sin interrupciones y sin comerciales. Este, por ser un curso digital, lo puedes estudiar a tu propio tiempo y a tu propio ritmo sin importar tu nivel de inglés. Además, nuestro curso cuenta con un foro, el cual llamamos We The People, en el cual intercambiamos información, tenemos actualizaciones de lo que está aconteciendo en el proceso de ciudadanía y también hacemos reuniones grupales en vivo semanalmente en las cuales nos reunimos a estudiar a practicar tenemos invitados especiales y más así que ya sabes si te gustaría tener el mejor plan de estudio y bien organizado visita nuestra página cursosconfernando.com y ponte a estudiar ya muy bien qué te parece si vamos a la práctica del día de hoy mucha suerte hi my name is officer hernández and today i will be conducting your citizenship interview can you please raise your right hand Do you swear and affirm that the statements you will give and provide today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Thank you. You can put your hand down and you can take a seat. Can I see your appointment letter, please? Just hold it up so that I can see it. Okay, you can put it away now. Can I also see your permanent resident card, your passports, and a form of ID? Just hold them up so that I can see them. Okay, you can put them away now. Now, please answer yes or no to the following questions. Have you ever claimed to be a US citizen in writing or any other way? Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Why not? Do you now have, or did you ever have, a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you called yourself a non-US resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Usually when you file your taxes, do you have to pay taxes or do you receive a refund? And when you file your taxes, do you file them jointly or do you file them uh, single by yourself? When was the last time that you filed your taxes? Can I please see your latest tax documents? Okay, you can put them away now. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, 
or in any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or in any other location in the world? Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with the Communist Party? Any other totalitarian party? A terrorist organization? Can you tell me what communism is? Have you ever advocated, either directly or indirectly, the overthrow of any government by force or violence? Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group or political opinion? Between March 23, 1933 and May 8, 1945, did you work for or associate in any way with the Nazi government of Germany? Were you ever involved in any way with any of the following? Genocide, torture, killing or trying to kill someone, badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose, forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations, not letting someone practice his or her religion. Can you tell me what religion is? Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in any of the following groups? Military unit, paramilitary unit, police unit, Self-defense unit, vigilante unit, rebel group, guerrilla group, militia, insurgent organization. Can you tell me what a militia is? Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier or did you otherwise ever serve in any of the following? Prison or jail, prison camp, detention facility, labor camp, any other place where people were forced to stay? Were you ever a part of any group or did you ever help any group, unit or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? What is a weapon? Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? Did you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? Did you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that helped or supported people in combat? Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? Can I please see the tickets or citations and proof that you paid to them. Okay, you can put them away now. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisting in committing a crime or offense? Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? 
Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation or been paroled? Have you ever been in jail or prison? Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? Been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? Sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs or narcotics? Been married to more than one person at the same time? Married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? Helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? Gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? Failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? Made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? And what is a habitual drunkard? Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been ordered, removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings currently pending against you? Can you explain to me what deportation or deported means? Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? For this next part of the interview, I am going to ask you 10 questions. You will need to answer six of them correctly to pass this part of the interview. Here is the first question. Name one state that borders Canada. How many amendments does the Constitution have? Who signs bills to become laws? What is one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? In what month do we vote for president? Okay, great. Now for this next part of the interview, please pay attention to the tablet in front of you. On the screen, you will see a sentence. Please read the following sentence out loud. Now on the same tablet, Please write the following sentence. Adams was the second president.
Adams was the second president. Adams was the second president. Okay. Great. You approved both of those parts of the interview, the civics questions and the reading and writing test. What is your complete name? What other names have you used? What changes will you be making to your name? Can you tell me your name as you would like it to be? When did you become a permanent resident? How did you become a permanent resident? Are either of your parents U.S. citizens? Were your parents married before your 18th birthday? What is your date of birth? What are the last four digits of your social? What is your height and your weight? What is your current address? How long have you lived at this address? What is your previous address? Can you spell the name of the street? What is your phone number? What is your email address? What is your marital status? What is your spouse's name? How many times have you been married? Were you ever married back in your country of origin? Have you ever been divorced?
When did you get divorced? Can I see your divorce papers, please? Okay, you can put them away now. Do you have any children? How many children do you have? Are your children US citizens? Do you have any children back in your country of origin? What are your children's names and their ages? How do you support yourself? How long have you worked at your job? What do you do at your job? What did you do for work uh, back in your country of origin? When was the last time you traveled out of the United States? Where did you travel to? And how long was this trip for? Give me one moment to verify something. How many times have you traveled out of the United States in the last five years? How many days have you spent outside of the United States in the last five years? Why do you want to become a U.S. citizen? Okay, great. Now, once again, please answer yes or no to the following questions. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? What is the Constitution? Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? What is an oath of allegiance? Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? 
If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Okay, give me one moment. At this time, I am going to recommend your application as approved. Congratulations. Muy bien, ¿cómo te fue con el video del día de hoy? Espero que hayas podido aprender mucho. Si aprendiste siquiera un poco, recuerda, regálanos tu like, que es muy importante para nosotros. Si tienes entrevista próximamente, recuerda, estudia todo lo que puedas pronunciar en voz alta. También está nuestro curso, nuestra página, cursosconfernando.com, que sin duda te va a ayudar a llegar bien preparado para esa entrevista tan importante. Si tienes tu entrevista esta semana, mucha suerte. Si no la tienes aún, recuerda, aquí seguiremos trabajando todos juntos para que es bien preparado. Nos vemos en el próximo video.